If your furnace sounds like that, then you got a problem with this draft inducer motor right here. Um, it's pretty much blowing your exhaust fumes out and sucking in. I don't know what's in behind there, but it sucks in gases and blows them out. This is a Claire, so it's an older model furnace. Uh, my documentation shows that I think it was it was upgraded in 1997, so it was installed before then. And this is model. CHU072 NH3A. There's the serial number if you need it. Claire Brothers Waterloo. Something like that. Now, if you look this part up, I think you can get it on Amazon. I tried a couple places. Or contact your local dealer uh, or HVAC dealer. It's about $372. So, what I did was found a used one on Kijiji. Now it's pretty simple here, it just looks like uh, moisture, some sort of drip here that goes into the moisture catch basin there. Two wires, you got a hot, a neutral, and then this third wire is a ground. And then right here we have two pipe clamps holding uh, the pipe onto the exhaust there. So we'll get started here, dig into this. Now there's a little snap ring on here, it's, it's not a snap ring, it's a little locking clamp, just use pliers to pull that. You can pull it off there, pull this out, and pull this up. Now just make sure this isn't crusty or full of crap. Shove a coat hanger in there and uh, abort it just to make sure that water doesn't stay trapped in here. And then we got three screws holding this guy in. Now I can tell this motor, obviously the bearings are blown on it, but I think it's original because the wiring from the furnace to the motor is, um, is the same. It's the same thickness, so they must have spliced it to moret it or something. Keep that. And there we have it. And that looks like a problem right there. We'll investigate this later in the video. This is the new to me draft inducer motor that I pulled off the old furnace in the shop. I'm just going to put this first and then we'll connect the exhaust pipe. Now I want to keep, there's like some sort of silicone barrier here, I want to keep that the same so I'm just going to carefully line this up, make sure it's nice and seated. Here's after we have it all cleaned up and installed, changed the morettes, put the pipe clamps on. And under further investigation, when I was taking this apart, this is where the exhaust comes out. Moisture leaks down there, it's like a little condenser. I discovered that. And that'll let the fumes into your house. Pull and pray. monitor this for a couple days and see if any water comes out and I'll put a CO2 monitor down here to see if it's actually working. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Catch you next time.
pretty sure you can buy these, just the motors themselves. This is what it looks like. Just comes apart. Two pieces. There's little snap rings or snap clips that hold this together and then there's a bead of silicone in there to stop water from getting out. The fan, pretty simple. It's, it's, it's been destroyed. Uh, just wearing out plaster. And then the motor here, like you can probably get this as a separate motor. You can just see that bearing in there. There's nothing left of that. It's hard to spin. This is on the front end. There's nothing left of that bearing. That is burned out. Then this comes out. And there's just tons of play in there. That's what they're causing air. Problem. Garbage.